My guy just came and just sat his chicken schnitzel is over there as well. This bag that you can keep your swim exit like like your swimming. Bag. Hello and good morning. It's 9:39 a.m. and I start this perfect. It is a cloudless day today. That is perfect, and so I start this day with a swim. Holy crap, the breeze is already hitting. You know what? I got an idea. Wow, man, I'd be silly to do this as a kid. Like sometimes I'd climb all the way up here and jump from there. Ready? <laughs> Whoa, it's in over two minutes and I still feel freezing. <sighs> My guy. Oh, yeah. So, I just gave myself a chance to come out here because tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow, me and my mom will be heading on to vacation. We'll be going to Kefaloka Resort. At this time tomorrow, we're already on our way to the airport. Okay, I'm just going to make a quick round in my loft because I am going to grab some swimming accessories. From here, if you can see, oh, I had some goggles that were standing over here some time ago. There's my laptop and it's case. That's not the point. I just got two swimming suits. I spent about 30 to 40 seconds in for the goggles because I did have them at some point, but we'll go the Decaf one and we get some swimming supplies. Got a cat in the parking lot. Look at this. Like, I'm not even surprised anymore. Look at this. Okay, well, before we do all that shopping, it's time to dine first. And yeah, so the happy hour specials, as you can see, it's kind of funny on the beer, the drink in the middle, you got the pepper on it. Yeah, flip the back of it and get the same picture here. These happy hour special drinks are only available between 3 and 7 p.m. Now it's 12.18 p.m. And 80% of this restaurant are still having breakfast after this hour. I, on the other hand, am ordering a chicken schnitzel. Here, just got this glass of Coca-Cola 10 seconds ago. Alright. I just came and just sat his chicken schnitzel is. So I had chicken schnitzel early lunch. Just wanted to have it like a Mr. Different day. And all the way down there, that's the on those cannon boats. Look at that. It's one boat with three rows, by the way. But for this time, I did some swimming suit shopping. That's the Bugs Bunny t-shirt that I got myself most recently and down the cuff on. So that's a place that I would usually do seasonal shopping. Like over the summer, I get myself swimming suits, snorkels and all that. During the winter, I would get ski jackets and etc. This time I came here to look for swimming goggles. Got some swimming caps over here too. But I'm looking for his goggles. So yeah, they got the sundo. That's quite like one of those I have in my loft. There's the active in this area. Okay, we had a look at the group of swimming goggles over there as well. This bag that you can keep your swim exit, like like your swimming goggles and your swimming cap. I did have two waterproof cases and one of them got broke two years ago. Broken, I should say. Excuse my grammar. So now I'm gonna get back into the house and yes today is the day that i start i cannot forget about this i will start my workout summer program by doing three rounds of push-ups so here i go here i go guys i kick off my summer workout program with a show and yes it's a tradition first day is always a show day I did the same in my 2021 to 2022 workout winter schedule 
and I did it the same for my workout program that lasted the whole of last year. And now here I go for the summer workout program. And hopefully I can actually make one dream that I was talking about last year when I was in that jacuzzi after having done a workout while I was in the States. Hopefully I can make that dream come true this summer. So what I'll do is I'll start the push-ups. Yeah, well, what a start. I completed the first round, having done 12 push-ups, and let's see what I'm gonna do for the second. So my target for today is to do a minimum total of 30 push-ups in up to three rounds. So for the first round, my result was 12 push-ups, whereas for the second round, I had done 17. So look, I've already done 29. I'm only one off. And I get into the final round just like that. Yeah, yeah, you know how Lightning McQueen takes off, that's the energy I take off, yeah. And I complete my first day of this workout summer schedule, having done 12 push-ups on the first and the final rounds, making that a combined 41 push-ups for today. And so tomorrow, my expectation will be to do 35. Now you might be thinking of two letters, easy. Well, here's the thing. So I will schedule myself one show day, every different workout that I do every turn, like a four day period. So this is just a five day period to start this summer season off. Here we go, it's starting to heat up. It's the birth of a heat wave that, according to the Weather Channel, is expected to last a duration of three or four days. It's that time that I head to the pool and do a grilling party, like a welcome in the summer party, like they do in my neighborhood. Like, you know, cooking burgers and hot dogs and stuff, like you're in a buffet. But now, for me, it's time to head to Mac 1. the sign Rambo is the name rumbler cat <laughs> well that sucks they've been on the search for this cat for the last four weeks they got lost on May 3rd but even on top of that look this is not even a joke but that's a dead baby cat like he's not even moving that's tragic I know he's just a kitten by the way guys He's a kitten, and he's laying in that leaf puddle, dead. Yeah, man, 
This is one reason why you have to look out for these wild villains like bulldogs. I gotta be 100%. Dogs are not in my liking. I wouldn't even assume to get that kind of a pet. In September of last year, while I was riding my bike, one bulldog ran into me and caused me to fall off my bike onto the road. And that hurt and pissed me off at the same time. He intentionally ran into me while I was on my bike and that caused me to fall down. I know, right? What a whore. It's been close to nine months since this incident and it still kind of angers me thinking about it. Anyway, so now the time is 6.35. I had done a fitness workout once again, this time a 52 minutes workout and that completes it for an athletic week. And believe it or not, I have extended my quintuple digit step count streak to 15 days. My longest streak is 17 days. Will I be able to pass that? Hopefully, hopefully I can. <laughs> I will be more than happy. And yeah, man, getting out of the fitness center, I noticed some, like, let me see it. Ah, it's on the other side. If you can see it right here. Yeah, that's just some hair on my neck. It's really annoying me. You know, it's like there's those short films of some kid being bullied at school, in class, in corridors. There's like five or six kids picking up on them for having a freckle on his face and this and that. Gotta get rid of that. Okay, I took it out. I mean, it is still partially visible, but I needed to get rid of that anyway. It's after sunset now, 7.57 p.m. So what I'm gonna do for the remaining of today, finalize my packing up as tomorrow we go on the trip. And here's the thing. So I am going to make Monday's episode longer than quarter of an hour. So do stay tuned for that. Now I'm going to close out this vlog. Thank you for watching. Hope you found it fun. I'll see you tomorrow.